Hi guys. So towards the end of last year, I came up with an idea for a swatch this, um, and it's called Bring the Crackle Back. So like I say, I've done this as a swatch this, but I challenge you to get all your crackles back out and give them another try. And you can tag me on Instagram or let me know if you do it on here, because I'd love to see all of those and see what you've got. Um, I know that Recently, I seen the nail polish hound, who's Amanda, has got a croc effect one, which I thought was really nice. So first up, I've got Sally Hansen's Oak Crackle Overcoat in Cherry Smash, which is this bright red one. I paired this with Kiko's Pale Grey, and I did this. I think it was around Halloween that I swatched this one. So that's how long ago we're talking. So yeah, so there's that combination. Um, I do find that sometimes you can't always see the base coat underneath, so it doesn't always matter what you use, if I'm honest. Um, as long as obviously it's a colour that helps the crackle show up. Um, the next one I've got is a Barry M, and it's dark purple. It it doesn't really it doesn't have a name, I don't think. Um, I, this is one from when they originally came out. It's got, it's not a cream. It's um, it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. This one you can't probably can't see on the camera. But I paired this one with Sally Hansen's Insta Dry in Lively Lilac, which was a really pretty colour. So that was my second combination. Um, I did quite like this one actually. It's, it was quite a pretty look together. Next up we have China Glaze Black Mesh. I do have a Barry M Black Mesh, not Black Mesh, just a black that I got when they originally came out and it's got like a plain lid with a little label on it. Um, but I did go to, for this one. Um, now some of them, before the crackle would, uh, would show up, I did have to shake them a bit because, um, well I don't know why, how it affects it, but I did have to shake them up. I think this one um, yeah, I had to shake this one up in between each nail, which isn't great, but you know, it still worked. I paired this one up with Coconuts from Sinful Shine. Um, obviously, you know, the black over the white goes really well. Okay, next up we've got one of my favourites. This one is from the Avon, again, probably from originally when the crackles were out and it's a mosaic effects one in plum illusion which is like a, it's like a sparkly purple and um, this well you can't see it because I'm just shaking it up but it has got a bit of a fill line because I've used it so much and uh, I paired this one with Barry M's prickly pear I must admit this has helped me get some swatch pictures together from having to do the both but because I've had to put one polish on and I do like to take a swatch photo of that and then put the other one on, that's why it's taken me a bit longer. So that was the next pairing, which was another pretty one. Um, let's see, next up, we've got uh, China Glaze Platinum Pieces, which is a silver. This, is, this one doesn't show up great on most colours, but on top of black, it's perfect. And this is Unrestricted Glam by Ciate. So there was that combination. Um, also on top of the black I used China Glaze is Oxidized Aqua. And um, this one was another one that needed shaking up and I think the silver one. I think most of the China Glaze ones actually needed a bit of a shake in between just to get the crackle effect to show up quite quickly. Um, this one, the colour shows up in the bottle but not so much, I don't think, when I put it on as a money. So that was that combination, the black with the with the sort of aqua colour. Um, then we have another China Glaze. This one was I did around Christmas time. <laughs> and oh, that one's um, settled quite a lot. This one's called Tarnish Gold. And I put it on top of Leighton Denny's Court Red Handed which is this really, this pearly shimmery red, which is nice for the Christmas time of year. So that was that combination. Then I've got an, another Sally Hansen crackle overcoat, which I think I picked up from a um, Poundland. And this one's called Vintage Violet, and it's got like a blue shimmer to him. If this was a, 
straight up polish it would be absolutely gorgeous um, you can sort of see the colour shift when it's crackles but not as much as I'd like um, I did pop this one on top of S's topless and barefoot just because it was a plain colour that I had on my nails at the time um, but you know it, it showed it up which is what I was aiming to do it's probably not the perfect colour com combination um, Barry M White is my next one sorry I'm having to lean really far down I have got the baby on my lap and I'm having to lean really far down because we ordered a new bed which didn't show up so we are sleeping on the mattress at the moment which is not great um, so yeah so we've got Barry M's White and I popped this one over the top of Cosmo with a twist from OPI when I wore that one. Um, like I say, you can't always see the base, so, you know, that didn't really matter as much, but that was that combination. And finally is a Barry M Blue, which I recently received. I had to throw away my darker blue one because it was really stodgy and I just couldn't be bothered to... Uh, to save it, sometimes it's not worth it for me if I don't wear it a lot um, but this one's a really nice pale blue which I got sent from Georgia and I popped this one on top of uh, a Seattle Mini in Ferris wheel which is really pale so um, you know, so as it showed up quite well uh, that is the thing, I think with the crackles you do need to try and find the right base for them um, the silver and the, the aqui colour I did try over other colours, but yeah, uh, unless they're over black, they don't really show up. So yeah, so that was all the crackles that, I, that I've that i got. Um, I hope this is quite interesting for you. I know it was a long time ago that the crackles came out, but now and again you do see them popping up. And like I said, I challenge you. <laughs> so I haven't done it as a tag, I have done it as part of my swatch this, but I challenge you to find all of those crackles back out and uh, relive the the love of them <laughs> and let me know if you do because I'd love to see all of those don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and a comment and I will see you all next time bye